All right, hey folks, I'm joined by the amazing Mrs. Poet. Uh, she's got my Glock 43 here. This is mine. That is yours. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to tell you a neat little trick, a, te a technique, so that you can more easily lock the slide to the rear. When you have a smaller subcompact gun like this, you still have tight springs and you don't have the surface area you do with bigger guns. So locking it to the rear or even cycling the slide can be a little bit more difficult. So this is how you do it. Step one, let's go ahead and turn body to the side and grasp the gun one-handed. Very good. This is so that you don't turn sideways this way and point the gun to people to your left and right. So it's more of a range etiquette thing, but you need the gun sideways like this. Step two is turn your hand pretty dramatically on the gun so your thumb is able to put upward pressure on the slide stop lever. It's not in or down, it's upward pressure. And you're gonna keep that upward pressure constantly. It's the last thing that you pull off of. Next thing she's gonna do is go ahead and put her other hand in a choo-choo train grip. I know that's a dumb name, but it's like a little choo-choo train could ride over the top of the slide in the little tunnel of your hand. I know it's so dumb, but it works and it's memorable. But it's basically squeezing the gun with the hard pad of your hand here and the four fingers here, being very careful to not block the ejection port uh, or have your hand get pinched in there. It can also do nasty things if a round hits your hand, falls back in, pins off the ejector, and it can really hurt you, to say the least. So, she's got this all poised up. Now what she's going to do is make sure it's center of her chest, right here. This is where you're very strong. She's going to push forward with one hand and pull back with the other in one motion, just like that. Then once she feels it reach all the way to the back, the last thing she'll do is relieve... Uh, the upward pressure on the slide stop lever and it locks the rear just like that. All right, folks, I almost forgot one thing and that has to do with just generally cycling the slide. A lot of folks will do what's called riding the slide forward and you don't want to do that. Miss Poet, will you demonstrate the wrong way first? Yeah. You can go let it forward and then folks will do this. That's wrong. The slide needs a certain amount of kinetic energy to properly clear stoppages and to properly chamber rounds. So what you want to do instead of riding the slide forward like this, no, 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 is allow your hand to slip off the back of the slide with every cycle. Go ahead. Much better. That's what you want. The, the hand slips off so the slide can uh, go forward more aggressively. You need that. So make sure when you rack a slide, you do it that way. Guys, train hard, train smart. Look below in the description if you're interested in Mrs. Poet's everyday carry, her holster sights, uh, the gun itself. And so uh, check below. We'll uh, give you a neat little blog that she wrote on that. So if y'all are interested in that, party on, train hard, train smart, and... Uh, why don't you say Stay something? classy. Stay classy. That's great. <laughs> okay, see ya.